Mew Mew Style, Mew Mew Grace, Mew Mew Power in your face. Hey everyone, Spuffles here as Pudding from Tokyo Mew Mew. This is one of my newest cosplays. Um, I wanted to do a special video today that has to do about Tokyo Mew Mew and how I got started with anime and that turned into how I got started cosplaying. So here is like my origin story, so to speak. Um, back when I was a kid, I used to watch a lot of cartoons and I would watch Western stuff and also anime, but of course back then, I didn't really know what anime was. Like I watched Pokemon and Digimon and Yu-Gi-Oh and whatever, but like I had no idea what it was until I went to high school and there was like an anime club and they were like, hey, do you like Pokemon? I'm like, yeah, of course I love Pokemon. They're like, well, you should join the anime club because we all watch like a bunch of different anime and we talk about manga, which are the Japanese uh, comic books. So back when I started high school, I checked out Anime Club and I made some friends who also like Pokemon and they recommended um, a few shows, one of which was Tokyo Mew Mew. And this was actually the first show that I watched in Japanese on YouTube in three parts and sometimes not every single part of the episode was on YouTube. And, you know, it was in Japanese, so I had to read the subtitles, and I just thought that was so cool because, you know, when everything's, like, Americanized, it's usually dubbed in English. So this was basically my first anime that I watched in Japanese with all the subtitles, and I absolutely loved it. I wanted to cosplay from it, like, as soon as I learned out what cosplaying was, I was like, oh my god. Like, you can dress up like the characters and go to conventions and it doesn't have to be just on Halloween and I thought that was amazing. So I was like, oh my god, I really want to, you know, start dressing up like uh, Tokyo Mew Mew characters. But of course back then, since I didn't really know much about sewing and I didn't really have friends who knew how to sew, um, I kind of put it on the back burner, but since I have learned how to sew and I have a sewing machine now, um, I was able to make this costume. Everything was made from scratch, so I am super duper proud of that. Everything except for my little, my little, little pudding bell or pudding uh, tambourine, I forgot what it was called, but everything except for my prop was made by me, so I'm just... I was super excited to get this cosplay done, but you know, back when I started high school and like the first time I joined Anime Club, I had no idea that like you can go on YouTube and there was just like a whole different genre of stuff that you could watch and it got me into, you know, wanting to cosplay and reading more manga and watching more anime so that just ugh, that that's what that's what got me started and of course i did not start going to conventions until i was in college but i i was very very excited to do tokyo mew mew and all of the other costumes from shows that i've watched years ago I'm just very happy that I got pudding done, especially because, you know, Tokyo Mew Mew, um, if you guys aren't familiar with it, it is a magical girl show, and it is not the best written anime, but it is very close to my heart since it was my first one, and, you know, if you, if you want to watch trashy anime, go for it. Sometimes it's just nice to curl up with your favorite anime, even if it isn't that good, but... I really enjoyed it, and I love magical girl shows, so it's very special to me. Um, if you guys have any special anime that was like either your first or one that really spoke to you, feel free to let me know, and if you guys cosplay, feel free to share your cosplaying with me because I definitely want to talk um, with more community members about cosplaying and everything and just, you know, reliving your first ever cosplay or your first ever anime or if you haven't done a cosplay yet, what cosplay do you want to be your first? But this, this show is just very, very important to me and I'm just so happy that like back in the day you could watch pretty much everything on YouTube in three parts, subtitled, even though sometimes the second part was missing so you're like, ah, oh, 
how do I watch this anime? But oh my god, I remember so many days I would just come home from high school and just go to YouTube and then just put on anime and be like, yeah, this is great. And I got really into it too. I had like my own original characters and everything. It was so much fun. But I am so happy that I made this cosplay a reality and um, I have some other costumes from shows that I watched back in high school that I want to do. So I hope to... Um, Hope to do those in time. I'm just very happy that I have the technical ability to do more things than when I started cosplaying, so it just it just means a lot to me. And Tokyo Mew Mew, you are a very special show to me. Even though you're not that good, I, I still love you, Tokyo Mew Mew.